Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, it's a correction about the list of pro players events of my last video. So someone in the comments, Ivan Vincent, pointed out that Hooksy wasn't on the list I showed. And yeah, he was right. I went back and checked, and it turns out Hooksy got filtered out of the data, most likely because he's currently without a team. So I re-ran the whole thing and added his most recent games back in, and honestly, it made things even more interesting. I had said Carrigan had the lowest event score last time, but after updating the data, Hooksy actually scored lower. At Blast Premier Spring Final 2024, his last event with G2, Hooksy finished with an event score of zero, literally zero. He played six maps and ended up with an average rating of 0.57. That's officially the lowest rated performance from any pro at a tier one event. Big shout out to Ivan for spotting that. And yeah, my bad for missing it. A few days ago, I was watching Falcons vs Navi at IEM Melbourne 2025. Falcons were dominating, 5-0 on CT side. Navi was trying to push Banana, and Alexi B tossed a smoke towards Spawn to help his team cross. He throws the smoke, and this happens. Now, Bit does still have this nade, but it just gets lobbed out now to clear the sandbag. So there's no world to blow this open for Na'Vi. They're left as the... the, the oh! oh! Dunked on! Alexi with the lineup! Smoke that! Nico just died to a smoke, and that could cost them everything here! Yep. You just watched Alexi B kill Nico with a smoke grenade. And honestly, that moment might have won them the round. After Nico dies to the smoke, Kixen is stranded on sight, gets picked off, and it turns into a 3 versus 3 post plant. What started as a one sided stomp flipped completely. Navi ended up winning the map. But here's what really got my attention the title ESL gave that clip on YouTube the first ever smoke kill in a pro game. And of course, my nerd brain couldn't let that go. Was it really the first smoke kill ever in pro CS? I had to find out. And what I found, well, it's time for science. Before we dig into the data, quick shout out to my very first channel sponsor, Clash.gg, who's helping support the channel as it grows. Clash.gg is a CS2 case opening site where you can spin for skins, battle other players, or try new game modes like tiles and crash to multiply your balance. You can even start completely free. Just sign up and use my code FAKEDUCK to get three free cases, no deposit needed. There's also a feature called RAIN, where free balance drops randomly throughout the day. You just have to be online to grab it. Deposits are flexible, crypto, credit cards, or CS2 skins, and withdrawals are just as smooth. Crypto or skins, your choice. Hit the link in the description, use the code FAKEDUCK, and good luck. And now, back to the question, was Alexi B's kill the first ever using a smoke grenade? I went digging through HLTV. On the player stats page, there's a small section called Weapons. And believe it or not, there's an entry for smoke grenade kills. I also found data for Flashbang, Decoy, Molotov, Zeus, Knives, even Skin Specific, and more. I pulled data from tier S and A players, plus legends from earlier eras. Not every CS player in history, but a solid chunk. That totaled over 10 million kills, including bizarre ones like deaths caused by the world, which means fall damage, C4 explosions, you name it. And some of the results? Absolutely wild. The whole process of gathering the data was really fun. I got to discover things that people usually can't find in an easy way. And I did it. Now, I will give you some brain food, some cool trivia, some bits, just for the nerds. Let's go. The player with the most world kills. K. Serato from Furia with 143. Most of them happened on Nuke, probably thanks to the map's vertical layout. Most Zeus kills? That title goes to Art, a truly unique, aggressive player. He has 62 Zeus kills. Oh, there's a chance, a hope. He's thinking about it, but he's a little bit... Oh! Apparently, Forrest loves using the USP without a silencer. Out of 2,000 USP kills, 93 were unsilenced. That's nearly 5%. Throwback to 1.6 style? Maybe.
JW is the top M4A1S user without the silencer, with 12 kills. It's crazy the quantity of kills with the unsilenced M4 is so little. Maybe after this video we will have a new king? The Desert Eagle King? Of course it's Nico with 2,908 kills. Simple is right behind with 2,148. For AWP kills, Oscar leads with 23,206, followed by Serson with 22,191. With the Krieg, and they have got a kit, but Oscar's so good in these situations. Oh! Shotgun God? That's JW again. 796 kills. Right behind him, Snacks, with 574. To show that this is a viable choice, and oh, he does through this. And Snacks does pick that one up, and JW finds his second, surely not a third, as he's desperately gonna be picking it up. And oh dear, I worry. Scoped Rifles, AUG and SG-553 saw a meta spike in 2019 to 2020. Vini dominated with them, 4,800 kills total. Yuri gets close to the smoke at ramp and Vinny just what? pulled in the center of a conflict of complexity. Can they stay alive in their map pick? It's just JKS and he's brought down as well. It's the most popular rifle in the game, the AK-47 King. Xantares with 23,000 kills, then Nico with 18,000. Nico just died to a smoke and that could cost them everything here. And finally, let's circle back to the mystery that started it all. Was Alexi B's smoke grenade kill really the first ever in pro play? Well, the short answer is no. But the long answer? Oh, it's way more fun. After diving deep into HLTV's database and sifting through thousands of matches, I uncovered six confirmed cases where players managed to actually kill someone with a smoke grenade in official matches. And the very first one I could track down takes us back to a chaotic showdown during the DreamHack Masters Spring, North America, in a series between Team Liquid and Chaos Esports Club. It was the third and final map of the series. Tensions were sky high. Round 29. Chaos were on a desperate force buy, pistols only. They decided to roll the dice and storm bomb site B. As the players crashed into the site, Voltage, one of Chaos riflers, took a bullet on entry. His health dropped from 100 to 38. Not ideal, but still in the fight. A few moments later, Elledge clipped him again, shaving him down to just 3 HP. At this point, Voltage was hanging by a thread, tucked in the B-site pit, hoping to get Nitro if he goes down heaven or a trade kill on the bridge. Then, the moment of unintentional brilliance. Nitro, in a clutch situation, casually lobs a smoke toward the bomb, just trying to set up for the retake. The grenade sails down, bounces off the bombsite wall, and lands perfectly on top of voltage. One tick of damage, just one, and it was enough. No armor, 3 HP, eco round, it all aligned. The smoke kills him instantly. Just like that, the round ends. Liquid gets wiped, Chaos wins the map, and the series. And the wildest part? It all happened so fast that barely anyone noticed what actually occurred. You can hear the casters, Launders and Scrawny, trying to process what just happened, but the match ended before they could even react properly. He's got the AK swapped over. He's got the smoke and the flash to try and play. No utility for the T's to hold on, and Voltage is so incredibly oh, low. Oh, he killed him! Oh, he's got it! Zeppa, of course, the god of map two, comes to life in the 1v1, and Steel can't believe it. It was like a little glitch in the Matrix, a historic moment buried under the adrenaline of Matchpoint. It wasn't flashy, it wasn't intentional, but technically, that was, at least what I thought, the first smoke grenade kill ever caught in a professional CS match. But boy, I was wrong. As I was searching on YouTube, I found another one, from a bit earlier. In 2015, SK faced off against ninjas in pajamas on Inferno. The score was 9-5 for SK Gaming. 
a Cillian decided to push through apartments and got sprayed down by Forrest. Somehow, he survived with just one HP and quickly fell back to the bombsite. Almost a minute later, Exist threw a smoke to help his team take the site, but someone was in the way. Asilian got hit and died right there. The casters didn't notice, no one really did, except the players themselves and a few sharp-eyed spectators who were following the game. But still, I was not convinced that this one was the first smoke kill ever. You know why? In the spreadsheet I compiled, there were several smoke kills. Besides Exist, Nitro, and of course Alexi B, there's also Neo, who actually has two registered smoke kills. Naf, Zaiwu, Get Right, Happy, Vinny, Rainwalker, Magix, and Biali. All of those players got at least one smoke grenade kill in their career. Now that we have all the data and some of the clips, we already know that Alexi B's kill versus Falcons was not even close to being the first. But which one of those is the actual first? After researching like crazy, going to the deepest point I've ever went to get a piece of CS history, I went through hundreds of matches, VODs, clips and demos, and I think I found our answer. The first ever smoke grenade kill was by Biali from Virtus Pro in a match against Hellraisers during Case King of the Hill 6 on August 27, 2014. Unfortunately, the official VODs of that match are broken, but I managed to find an obscure, low-quality YouTube broadcast of the happening, apparently from a Russian stream. In the video, we can see Angel holding a sight on Overpass, behind the truck. Yep, Overpass again. Coincidence or fate? The score was already 2-0 for Virtus Pro. Snacks throws a Molotov behind the truck, burning Angel down to 2 HP. And because it was an eco round, Angel had no armor, which made Bialy's smoke do exactly 2 damage, enough to finish him off. Angel. В итоге дает информацию, стягивается глубже Флэнд, Молотов под ногами, Ангел, 2 хп, ай-яй-яй, смоукил, есть же, есть же смоукил, Бьоли, вот этот попал, просто попал сейчас по Ангелу. That, finally, is what I believe to be the first clip of a smoke grenade kill in CS Pro history. I couldn't find any earlier ones, and most of the other clips on the list are lost media. If you happen to know where any of those are, or any kill that was left out of the list, especially the clips from the two kills by Neo, leave a comment. You might feature in my next video. And I'm not here to talk about just smoke grenades. There are also flashbang kills. In 2016, three, during Elite, trying to move Taco a little bit closer, but now they're running out of time. The funny part? They just don't have time to play you can this hear game. Someone they need to get, get these kills and like gonna crazy, become one. Which makes Ooh, the clip Taco even one more special. Three, and he has to either save the orb or get himself killed in the next 10 seconds. It's gonna be it, gonna be it. I, I want to see. And throughout all of CS history, there's only one grenade with just one recorded kill, and it belongs to someone very special, Zaiwu. It was May 2019 on Nuke during the CS Summit 4 Grand Final. Vitality was crushing Team Liquid. The score was 12 to three, and no one expected what was about to happen. The casters, Henry G, Launders, Fifleron and Moses, were joking about Nitro's buy, Dualies. Back then, dual Berettas were considered kind of a meme. The round starts, Nitro misses almost every shot, and Zaiwu ends up with one HP. Zaiwu throws a decoy, either as bait or by pure instinct, right at his feet. Then, it happens. Excuse me. <laughs> Have said anything. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nitro's got Surely, the dualies. When all else fails, Nitro's got the double dualies. the amount of guns. Two guns better than one. No, no, exactly. man. Dualies are legit. Nitro. Oh, don't be so bad, yeah. Jason. Yeah, I'm going to die on this hill. <laughs> Nitro's, <laughs> Nitro's going to prove me right. All right. I'm down. I want to see it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, is he going I just on? think they suck. It's I a great one. I mean, it's a great one. He's got it. Oh, oh here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Yeehaw! Yeah, that's that pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice.
Where do you felt that was in the Wild West? Oh, oh no, it's all gone wrong. No. I couldn't have no. been uglier. Yes. <laughs> right. well, uh, well then, get so, ready for this. Uh, it's about that uh, bathroom break. Give yourself time. a cheeky I'll be, five. I'll be back enough. in about thirty seconds or so. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta walk that Take shit off. Take a quick you know? step away. Welcome fresh air. to Reddit.com, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we'll be here God. for the rest <laughs> of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Holy okay. shit, he died to a decoy. Well, oh, whoa. Yeah, the decoy did. exploded. He exploded and he oh. died. And it was his own decoy. No <laughs> fucking way. I've never seen that in a pro game. Yeah, that's he wild. decoyed oh. himself as a fake. No, you know what the crazy part is? The, the decoy explodes like so long after you throw it. Yeah, so he it had does. no idea. He ran back. And once again, everything had to line up. If Nitro had bought a different weapon, if Vitality hadn't rushed A, if Zai Wu hadn't spent his last bit of cash on a decoy, if the bullet spread wasn't so random, if anyone else had finished him off, it never would have happened, but it did. And that's what I love about Counter-Strike. So many moving parts, so many random variables, and yet they somehow come together to create these perfect, unforgettable moments. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the format, the stories, and the odd little details I brought to light. Take care, drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. This is Fake Duck, signing off. Thanks for watching.